YouTubers, this is Wolf359 coming at you. I know it's been quite some time, but now I'm, I'm back and I'm going to be talking about how we're going to install and set up MB. So MB server. We did Jellyfin, now we're going to work on installing MB and running it with our Nginx proxy manager. So we're going to use the Jellyfin that we already have from the last time when we did Jellyfin. If you all have watched the Jellyfin one, but I already have it set up. So we're going to just go ahead and use it. All what we'll have to do is change the port number. But I'll walk through how we do it and all that, setting it up. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back. We're going to go back to our, our True NAS. So we're on True NAS Community Edition. This is the Fangtooth Edition. And all so we're still running off that so we're gonna make a data set we're gonna call it MB e -M -B -Y. and I'm gonna give it the data set of apps now I don't want to come over here I'm gonna come I haven't looked I haven't set up so I haven't done this one before but we're gonna do this together yeah we're gonna do this together and all that so we're gonna set it up all together at once. So we're gonna come into the install and we're gonna see what we need for our data sets. I'm sorry if my mic's low and all that. I've adjusted the gain and all that. So I brought my mic a little closer. So if anybody missed anything, it's all right. So port, okay. So we need a storage. It looks like just storage. MB configuration storage so that's all we need and then we can add in our data set so we already have a data set set up for data and all that and then we'll come over here we'll just call this config I'm thinking the storage is more or less like our videos videos and all that but we'll just do it this way and just see what happens because MB's not really showing much, so we'll just set it up like this. We do have our media data running through our file browser that I have set up. This is my, you'll see the same thing. This is my, uh, for my Plex movies file browser. But here we go. We're going to go over here to our apps come over to discovery we have MB if you don't see it da we can type in MB and it should bring it up right here we come in MB you can name it application name if you want to change the name I just leave it as is I'm going to change the time zone going to change that I am not Los Angeles I am on New York side towards Florida and Georgia area well pretty much close in between North Carolina and Georgia so I'm South Carolina port binding we're not going to do anything we're going to leave the web UI port the same network host we're not going to mess with that come here we're going to add in our data set but like I said I think this is pretty much for our, where we're gonna have movies stored but we're gonna I'm gonna add also in my personal one so we'll say porch slash media we'll come here test media I don't have nothing else so yeah just media we can add in resource config, so we can add in limit more CPU and memory to it. We're going to leave it as is. If you have a C, uh, GPU installed in NVIDIA GPU, so you'll be able to pass through that if you need it to for MB and get it all set up and going. Uh, June, I think June the 1st, they will be doing the update for True NAS Community Edition on Fangtooth where uh, IP binding 
so you'll be able to set up for your apps there are different IPs so you can have different IPs for each app so you won't have a conflict of interest on IPs so if you're setting up two of the same servers then you're adding in uh, another server and it's going to be on the same port but you need a different IP you can do it that way so forth so we're going to let this keep on going and everything we're going to pause it right here all right MB is installed and it's up and running so we're going to take a look at it we're going to come over to the web UI and we're going to load into it okay so MB is pretty good I like Jellyfin I like Plex I like MB and all that so we're going to set up our inter, uh, English language we're going to set up our language that we want to uh, we're going to give it a name I'm going to just give it something stupid I'll just give it my usual wolf uh, please give it a very good password a very heavy password and all I'm just going to give it a plain Jane password but it don't matter even if you've seen my password and all that the server is going to be down so there's no point trying to get into it uh, so I'm gonna we're gonna keep on moving no we're not gonna save it I'm gonna add in a new library uh, we're gonna call movies add a folder So here's our media. That's the thing. So I'm seeing config. I wonder if that's our deal, but I'm gonna see media. I'm gonna go okay. I'm gonna go okay. I'm gonna go next. Uh, temp enable automatic port mapping uh, we're not going to turn that on because we're going to be using proxy manager to do that to do all this so we're going to keep on going oh yes it's up you're done we're finished and type in the password There we go. The only movie I have on there right now. 2012. All right. So we have it set up and going and all that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to map this this port 9096 to our proxy manager. So we're going to go to Jellyfin going to edit this one and come over here go 9096 make sure I got that right yep 9096 and we're going to save that so our let's encrypt is all good and all that so what we're going to do we're going to click on here I'm going to see if we if it lets us log into it that it won't Oh, there it goes. So we're in. So it took it a little while updating and all that. So so we're in. So I'm going to load up one more thing. We're going to get Jellyfin installed on a phone, on my cell phone. I'm going to get that all brought up and loaded up in. Let's see if we can get that all taken care of. Probably have a little issue, but I'm okay with it. Here we go. We have enlarged this a little bit more. So we're going to come over to the Play Store. No, we don't want it now. Search. 
MB. So install. finish installing then we'll open it up and go in and have get all set up so what we've done we installed MB we set up it through a proxy manager and so forth now we're just getting it loaded up on us on cell phone So yeah, we want to sign in with HTTPS colon port slash port slash. I'm gonna go Jellyfin. I know, I know, y'all are gonna fuss at me, but I already had it set up, and I'm not gonna go through everything else getting a. net nope dot org I'm looking at the wrong one I got too many that's uh, 96 96 now we're gonna connect to it says unable to reach the server oh yeah we're not doing that so we're doing port 443 so that's what we're going to go with. So yeah, if you're doing it through the proxy manager, HTTPS is 443. So if you got to go that way. There we go. You're in. Play it. Show that it plays. Let's let it play a little bit. Okay. Let's stop. All right. So we have Jellyfin installed. Not Jellyfin. We got MB installed on our true NAS. Running on true NAS. So like I said, that that one deal is probably, like I said, the database is probably this one right here where we said config. So that is probably our movies right there, right here. So MB's just running everything through the IX system instead of having everything separate from transcode and all that. So MB is pretty much the easiest to set up. Uh, I've done a Plex install and I have done a Jellyfin install. And pretty much both all easy to set up and all. Uh, but other than that, let's just keep on rolling to the next one. Uh, but if anybody has any questions or problems getting there, server set up for MB, Jellyfin, Plex, please don't hesitate, slap me, slap me a message on YouTube, I have a Discord, I'll have that linked in the bottom, and if you have any problems or anything, just give me a holler, and I'll try to work with you and work out what the problem is, and we'll get you all see what, what the problem is, so we can get it fixed, and you can Everybody can have a fun time doing what they want to do. Uh, but if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Don't forget to hit that bell notification in the bottom corner. 
it'll alert you to the next time I have a video posted. But thank y'all very much. Peace.